for tuning in to the Harmonix Show. Here's your host, the Thorn Trader. Hey guys, it's uh, been a while. Um, it's here to do a update on some of the stock picks and give you a couple of stock picks for the week. Let's start with AMC. Uh, it played out pretty well right after I made the video, but shortly after finding out that Wall Street Bets was uh, behind this pump, I quickly got out and um, probably circle back around to this later if it consolidates somewhere, but uh, gonna scrap this trade for now. Moving on to another previous stock pick is uh, ATHX. Uh, when I did the video, it was around um, this area right here, 185-ish. And has since then broken out. And uh, before it broke out, it actually came up to test the 200-day moving average. It's this red squiggly line. I tested the 200 day moving average, came back down to test this spring, the support area of 192, shot up past the 200 day moving average, broke out of this top resistance, which is the top of the range, came back down and tested as support, and now it has since then moved even higher. Um, positive momentum still building on, on the daily and uh, it's looking pretty good let's switch over to the weekly time frame and on the weekly time frame it's still looking pretty good the bullish MACD divergence is playing out and it's still playing out with the weekly MACD positive Momentum continuing to build. Not oversold yet. Not not overbought yet on the RSI for the weekly. Let's move over to WTER Water, the alkaline water company. On the four-hour time frame, uh, we have broken out of this supply line. Came up, broke the 200, but came back below it. Uh, just to break back up above it and we have one candle here that tested the 200 day 200 moving average and regarded it as support now uh, we have to see uh, if we'll keep going up from here but anytime price action is above the 200 moving average it's considered bullish uh, one thing to keep an eye on is the MACD Positive momentum looks like it's starting to come down. So we'll have to see if the bears could bring this back below the 200 moving average. Let's switch over to the weekly time frame. The weekly positive momentum has just begun off of the uh, MACD bullish divergence. Uh, we have hit the PCZ with a higher low double bottom off of critical areas uh, so hang tight on this one uh, should be doing something pretty good uh, let's move on over to the two stop picks that I have for you guys for this week the first one is Daku the DocuSign company on the four hour time frame, you can see we've tested the 200 day moving average quite a few times and uh, bounced off of it a lot and uh, regarded it as support. So, this looks like a pretty bullish sign already with MACD, MACD bullish divergence, and RSI bullish divergence that seems to be playing out at the moment. Moving on to the daily time frame, we are in a ascending triangle, which it looks like we are testing the top, 
and could potentially be breaking out uh, this coming week with the MACD bullish divergence about to play out with the positive momentum that's about to build. RSI are, is in bullish territory, so, it, so there's a high chance that this will be breaking above this uh, top trend line right here. Moving on to the weekly time frame, also bullish looking with hidden bullish MACD divergence and class B RSI divergence uh, with the weekly negative momentum uh, just waiting to begin to build. Uh, definitely keep an eye out on this one if you're not in it already. Another pick I got for you guys is uh, RKT, Rocket Companies, the Rocket Mortgage Company. Ever since IPO, uh, we've been in this range since September 24th of 2020, and we've just been trading between this top white trend line and these two uh, bottom support lines. And you can see we have bounced off of these levels quite a few times, and uh, it looks like we are really regarding this area as support. Uh, right before breaking out, breaking this top sup yellow supply line. Uh, one thing to note is we've tested, we've broken out and came back down to test this supply line, and now we are regarding it as support. One also interesting thing is we find we finally got enough data. There you go. We finally got enough trading data to get a 200 moving average on the four hour time frame. And uh, it looks like we have tested the 200 day moving average alongside with the yellow um, supply line. And uh, we are regarding it as support. So this is something that looks pretty bullish as long as we stay above. Uh, this 200 moving average or this supply yellow supply line with the MACD uh, negative momentum losing steam so uh, something to uh, look out for this could be a good entry right here uh, probably I will probably highly consider this tomorrow morning at open and uh, that's all I got for you guys uh, probably I don't know when I'm going to do another video, but uh, stay tuned.